Hello, how y'all doing today? This is Kay. Happy Friday evening. Yep, Miss Kay in the kitchen. I picked a fine time to decide to do this this late. I should have been did this. I'm cutting up whole garlic. I put me some cranberry beans in the slow cooker. I soaked them a little bit. Soaked them, washed them off, soaked them. I seasoned them with some oregano. I don't know if y'all can see. Oregano. I did some adubo. I put some cayenne pepper, and I put some garlic, but I'm going to also cut up some garlic. As, they, as you can see, I got some fat back. I'm going to fry some fat back and put some of that grease in there and drop some of the meat in there. I'm going to add tomatoes, and then I got some sweet turkey, ground turkey in there that I think I'm going to chop up hmm, and add, you know, cook it separate, and then add it in the beans later. And maybe, you know, the tomato, and then I might get a can of tomato paste. I'm not going to make up. Make it up as I go. And when I do this, it's good. Let me rinse this off. I just took the skin off of it, but I still like rinsing my stuff out. And I want whole garlic in here. So I'm going to dice this up. I love garlic. And then plus, y'all, it's good for you. And I'm going to make this a little. I put a, only a little cayenne pepper in it because I'm going to make it spicy. I got some jalapeno season up there, but I'm scared of that because I didn't. I, I've used it, but I haven't used it in my beans, so I don't really want to try nothing too different. Oh, I'm going to hook these up. Add as I go. So, let me rinse this out. And it's going to take these probably till tomorrow. Because I didn't let them soak that long. It say let them soak for like six to eight hours overnight. I, I don't ever do that. Um, I wash them off real good, pick through them. Soak them for about an hour, and then, you know, throw that water off, and then go ahead and start cooking. Now, let me show you just how, how I got mine so far. I fried the fat back near the end, probably later in the middle of the night. I should have been cooked this, y'all, because I really wanted to show y'all, but this is something that'll last for several days. And I'm going to do cornbread. I'm going to do some Jiffy cornbread, which I'll probably be in the morning or, or later on tonight. And uh, some coleslaw. I just had a taste for some beans with some little ground meat in it. Some cornbread. And some slaw. Don't that sound good? I might go get some fish or something, but I think that's good enough for me. So, um, I just wanted to show y'all. Oh, well, let me let you see it. Let me show y'all what Miss K cooked. <laughs> and I cut up some onion in there. You see the seasonings. And this going to marinate. Probably for about six hours. It's going to come to a boil. I wish I had to wait it so y'all can see it boiling. And then it's going to simmer. So this is going to take, it's going to take about, about six or seven hours for me. It's going to take a long time. That's how long I cook mine. Because somebody else said something. They said, girl, why you cook them so long? But when you put them in your mouth. Everybody that cranberry beans, where did you get that from? But Food Lion, and you know, it's, they cheap, and when I tell you they're going to come out good, when I put that ground meat in there, stir it all up, it's going to be delicious. I just wish y'all would be here to taste it. So I will get with y'all later, and let y'all see how it come out. It'll probably be time for a daily bread by the time them get done. So y'all have a blessed day, and I'll see you guys later. Bye now. What you cooking for dinner? Whoosh, almost forgot my sugar. <laughs>